Uh, good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Zalonka. So, finally into December and I thought, well, I've done a few things um, since the last episode, mainly just to get the fields ready and things like that. So, um, I was liming fields at the end of the last episode. So we managed to get all our fields limed and we've had them all mulched as well. So um, this was the sunflower field and it's now perfect for pH um, and has been limed. Um, so good to go as is the one next to us. So what we're going to do, we're going to knock these two fields together. We're going to get rid of this track in the middle. Um, and yeah, this field will eventually be a vegetable field in the end, I think. So um, I'm going to have to do a bit of a funny angle on this as well I think unfortunately but I'm sure it'll work out fine and let's try and get the angle just right um, so we pick up the edge of this field okay so if we yeah go straight across there that's fine. What I'll probably do is just keep going all the way along here. Try and keep it at that 270. A wee bit harder with this uh, plough, just because it's quite a long way away from the tractor, but um, we'll do our best to keep it straight. Just try and follow that field edge as best I can, I guess, at the, with the wheels. And then this is just going to, it's not going to add much to the field, but it basically conglomerates it and makes it as one, so kind of makes sense. And then, yeah, we'll do the same on the other edge and then just fill in the gap. Now, we're obviously into December, um, so the plan really for this episode is, one, uh, to get um, our forestry ready and up and running, uh, and two, uh, we're just going to sort of well, my plan is to get um, a forage mixer today as well for our um, our cows, so we can start um, producing TMR for them as well, just to increase their productivity. But um, I'll do that. Yeah. So um, the yeah the the reason my money has gone up is I sold a bunch of stuff. So we sold. Um, 18,000 litres of parsnips uh, and that went to Earl and Grat um, so that gave us a good chunk of money and then I went and sold uh, 80, uh, what was it? Uh, well basically it was uh, all the canola and sunflower oil we had in storage um, so that was at the mill there and on the trailer uh, and that gave us about 40, 40k as well so if we look at um, our income screen uh, yeah, so sold products 97,536 for yesterday uh, or November. So, yeah, uh, we've been turning a profit at last, which has been good. Um, so, get these wheels lined up again. There we go. So, yeah, we'll just uh, straighten this edge up as well. And uh, hopefully, this will do the job. So yes, um, yeah, so we've got that income, um, which is obviously fantastic, um, and it means we have a choice of pieces of forest we can purchase now. Uh, originally I was going to go for the cheaper of the three, but um, now we've got that extra cash, we could potentially go and get a slightly larger plot, um, or a tr plot with more trees in it, should we say. So let me just get this line done. And we'll get the rest of it filled in and then yeah we'll we'll have a look shall we the other thing i'm going to do as well just to top up our funds is i'm going to sell some of our silage bales uh you can probably just about see over in by the farm there we've got the class aries um with a trailer load of bales on it just now so those are fully fermented so we're going to go and sell them as well um and then that will obviously help fund our projects so, stop there. So, 
that's given us a, a new edge to the field. Not the straightest, but not to worry. It's better than uh, better than it was. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just fill in this bit here. And then that will be all of it. Now I will need to put some lime on this bit as well. But that's okay. We can do that. Just be two or three passes, so... so I think I'll do a strip this way and then one down the middle. And then that should be nicely filled in. Then when it comes to the spring, then we can get this drilled and get the vegetables in. What I'll probably I need to do actually, if we're putting vegetables in this field, we'll need to cultivate this field as well. But that's fine, we can do that. Right, last little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll take this back to the farm. So I'm thinking this will probably be, probably be the penultimate episode of this series. Um, as I said, I was trying to get this series to an end. So I think, yeah, we will probably finish this next episode. Uh, so this episode I do want to sort of travel into winter a little bit. So we'll probably finish in January maybe. Um, and then, yeah, next episode we can obviously sell some bits and bobs and, yeah, just finish things off, I guess. Um, as I said, I've got to this point in this series now where we are kind of got everything there. Uh oh, it's starting to snow. Good job I got that done. Uh, so, yeah, we've got to the point now where we've kind of got all the things we wanted to get done done. So... Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting there. So I'm going to leave the plough just there, just now. Now, these fields are ready to cut. I can get one last cut off them, and I am tempted to do it. This one is not ready, but I could potentially get one last cut off this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can still harvest grass no oh no yeah you know I can yeah 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 brilliant so yeah I could cut this grass just now um, for one last cut for the winter and um, that isn't going to grow until spring now so but that's okay it's fine so we could get another bunch of silage off that field um, if we wanted to uh, but yeah I'll have to have a think about that so, what we'll do... Oh, I bought a mulcher as well. So yeah, we bought this, which is obviously the same as our roller, um, the Rostel Mash, but uh, 9.2, so it made quite short work of all these fields. So yeah, as you can see, all these fields are pH perfect and have been mulched. Uh, right, what do we need to do? Uh, da, 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 da. Right. I think... Sorry, I am uh, faffing a little bit. What we'll do, we'll grab the Ares here. We'll grab these silage bales and we'll go and get these sold, I think. So, best price is... Right near the top. Silage. Animal. No. Farmer's market. So we'll get to the farmer's market. The other thing I did off screen was I basically repaired and cleaned and refueled everything that needed doing. So that's all been fixed up as well. You can see the soybean fields all been mulched as well. So yeah. 
yeah, we're, we're definitely all organised now for the winter. And it's just a case of selling stuff and chopping down trees next. So I'm going to get the tree devourer. Um, we're going to get the... And then, yeah, I've downloaded the Kesla uh, forestry pack as well. So we're going to give that a go. So, 63,000 litres. Is this low enough to sell? I don't know whether it is, you know. We're going to have to unload all of these, aren't we? How annoying. Oh, jiggly bales. So, what we'll do, I will unload these, we'll get these sold, and yeah, we'll probably see you up at the dealership then in that case. Because this is going to take a little while, and I don't want to bore you with just uh, unloading bales. Especially when I do it like that. So yeah, as you can see, we're getting... 4,000 4, euros per two bales, so 2,000 euros a bale. So that's not too bad, is it? Right, we'll see you up at the dealership. Okay, so we got the uh, the rest of the silage bales off the field here. And what I also did is I took some of the, the small straw bales out here. We've attached... Uh, we put them on the little bale trailer and uh, the feed is down at the cow farm just now because we are going to go and get ourselves a feed mixer. Um, so we'll do that first and then yeah we'll finish off with a little bit of forestry after that. So we'll just stop there and we'll jump in the stores. Ooh, look at that. Harvester. That would be quite handy, wouldn't it? It doesn't actually have much more capacity than what we've got on our harvester, though, I don't think. Let's have a look. No, our harvester actually has more capacity than that, so we won't be bothered with that. That's fine. But, yeah, we could trade ours, our animal trailer in for that one, since we have the same one. Ugh, we'll leave it, it's fine. Right, um. Yeah, so obviously our money's up from those silage bales. Um, so we're going to buy a couple of things. So the problem I've got is there's no wet sale slurry or um, manure on this map. So I'd have to put a sell point in. So I think we'll use a slurry tanker for doing our fields and do a little top up. So I've downloaded this, the HTS 127. Um, so we'll, I think we'll go for this. Uh, we'll go for a Fortric Brownie, but I think. Oh, tracked! Look at that. That's quite cool, isn't it? No, we'll just go standard. Uh, Grey or white? I think I'll go white. And then, yeah, we'll go for the yellow rims. So, I'm going to buy that. So that's 10,000 litre capacity, which is pretty handy. And then, forage mixers, mixer wagons. So, again, there's lots of choices, but I've downloaded these. These are Lizard on console, but Euro Milk uh, forage wagons, uh, or forage mixers, mixer wagons. And you've got the the big one here, 30,000 litres, um, or yeah, you've got uh, 17 or 10. So we don't have that many cows, so I think we'll just go for the 10. Um, kind of makes sense. And I think, yeah, let's just go with that. Um, yeah. Perfect. Right, 
So, I'm not going to bother with the slurry tank just now, but we will take it down in a little bit. And then grab that. We'll take this down to the farm. And we'll go and get a uh, get these spikes put away properly, there we go. So yeah, a nice nice wee little uh, mix wagon this. It's not too big, so it should do the job. Some of our trees have started growing as well, our spruce trees have started growing, which is cool. Yeah, so yeah, we've got a few there which have started to grow, which is good. So So we've got plenty of uh, animal feed down here, so I think what we'll do is uh, drop that there. And I need to grab a hay bale. Ooh, which are in here. It's pretty tight in here with these tractors, but we can do it. So these are four and a half. Yeah, so if I take one of these, if I can get back out again, I might have to reverse back out. Oh, camera angles in here are dodgy, aren't they? Let's just do it in cab. Oh dear, what happened there? I actually get out of this building? <laughs> Don't know whether I can. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now we're looking. There we go. Right. Let's get this in here first. Right. Okay. So get that in there. gonna grab the bucket could do with another tractor down here couldn't I it's a bit uh, or a, a skid steer or something like that so grab a bucket of silage Do that. And then I'm just going to put the help window on so we know how much uh, feed we've got going on in here. So I'll get that in there. There you go. So that is now TMR. And if we put a straw bale in, that should be a nice little mix. We we'll could probably put two actually in. Let's unstrap them. So put one in there, two in there. That's 1200 litres there. Get them in there. I could probably get away with a little bit more straw in there just to top it up. So let's put one more 600. In fact, these are six, 300 litres, so. They're really not that of a good haul, are they? So, yeah, we'll get another two in there, easy. Now, obviously, when we get to the bigger bales, um, 
Right. I think that is probably... I could probably put another smidge of silage in and then that should be a full mix. Oh, there's a tree there. <laughs> So let's get that in there and then I think that should be everything organised. Right, let's have a look how much we've got there. It's pretty full. Don't think it's full full. but. Yeah, pretty close. I will call that a mix. So we'll get this into the cows now. Uh, and then, yeah, that'll keep them topped up for the time being and hopefully make them a bit more productive. So they've got plenty of hay in here just now, but um, tip side, right. There we go. Yeah, they've got plenty of feed in here just now, hay wise, but yeah, it would be good to get some. Uh, TMR in. So get that in there. There we go. So once uh, once this uh, TMR is in, then yeah, we can kind of just leave them to it for now because yeah we're not going to need a whole load more feed in there for now there's not that many cows and yeah should be enough to keep them going so I think I'll leave the feed mix no in fact no we'll take it with us see if I can reverse out Ooh, sorry There we go. And we'll put the feed mixer in here, I think. I know. Next to the mower. Oh, my driving's not very good today. Mentioning driving, actually. Um, so. There's a new game out. Um, Expeditions, a mud runner game. So I have bought it. So I'm going to do. I'm going to do a let's play on it. I think um, I do have early access. I've bought the pre-order. So I think. Yeah. Although I do have early access, you probably won't see the videos till the game is actually released. But um, I'm going to have a little go with it this afternoon. Actually, I'm just going to have a tinker with it, play with it. Uh, just to see what it's all about and then yeah I'll maybe try and record a couple of episodes but uh, yeah it's, it looks a good game um, Mr. Seely P, um, Mr. Famous, Mr. Seely P has uh, released a few videos on it already um, uh, so I had a wee look but um, yeah the the actual game itself I've basically been looking at the sort of the preview videos and things like that uh, but it, yeah, it does does look quite a f good fun game. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to playing it. Uh, let's have a quick look at the cows then. They're, uh, so we've got TMR in there now. Plenty of hay. So yeah, I will probably do some more topping them up of them over the winter. But um, yeah, what we'll do, we'll just nip round the side of the barn here. And we're just going to top up the milk into the dairy because that's a bit low uh, grab this may as well empty that into there spin round Oh, camera angles. 
Yeah, 3,520 is not a load, is it? But hopefully now we've given the cows some TMR, they'll, uh, they'll start to produce a little bit more for us. But that should be enough to get this going again. I do have a pallet of butter there as well, actually. So we'll get that producing. That can head over to the head over to the the dairy. Uh, I don't actually need any of those tools. That's fine. Right. What I'm going to do now, we're going to go and we're going to grab our forestry stuff. So I'll go and get that all purchased and then, yeah, we'll, um, or, or least, I'll probably lease the forestry stuff because we're only going to use it for the winter again. Um, so I'll just have it on lease over the winter and then, yeah, we'll look at buying our forestry plot as well. So give us a couple of minutes and, uh, yeah, we'll get everything sorted. All right. So we made our choices. So obviously here yeah, I've got the slurry tank here, but I've gone for the tree devourer again. This is the unreal capacity one. So yeah, just to make short work of those wood chips. Then the Kessler pack um, has uh, a crane, a f uh, a, f a f uh, I guess yeah, as a saw. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. It's got out of my head. Uh, so yeah, we've got the saw here um, to go on the back of a tractor. So we've got obviously our, our tractor and the blade there, but it also comes with a uh, a crane as well. So yeah, it's got the three three things there. But so we've gone for that. So I think what we're going to do just now, we're not going to do the wood chopping necessarily. So we'll leave the crane here and uh, sorry the the cutter and the the front loader here, and we'll grab our tree devourer. I've put the big class weight on the back of it as well. In fact we could probably, this has got a pin hitch so maybe we can take this uh, slurry tanker down with us as well. There we go. So I'll take that down to the farm as well and what we're going to do first we're just actually going to just thin in the trees that are actually down at the cow farm just now and then yeah or by the the sawmill and the cow farm so we'll do them first and then yeah we can get on to the next bit in fact I should have gone in there but never mind we're not going to get in here very easily now we've got all these trees growing sneak through this way. There we go. So I'm going to use the lorry here for collecting the wood chips. So I think I'll leave this lorry tanker here. Good a place as any in it. There we go. And yeah. Let's get this where we need it. So as I said, I think the edge along here I think is fine. I don't think we need to change this much, but there are a few trees sort of down there that I would get I want to get rid of. So let's uh, go around this way. We'll leave those spruces there for now. But yeah, I think we'll get rid of this one here. And grab the lorry. And then, yeah, we can empty into that. Okay. May as well put the trailer on it as well. So we'll go around this way. Park there. 
jump in this. And open that up. Drop that down. There we go. Let me see how much we get from that. There you go, 17,000 litres. It's not bad, is it? Alright, better watch my hands. There we go. So something like that, and then yeah, I think well that one there is kind of in the way as well. Um, so get rid of that one. And that's just going to open this space up a little bit for turning the milk tank around and stuff. The thing is, when you, you plant these trees, you're not necessarily got them in the right place, but... There we go. Get that little nugget. There you go. So, definitely seems uh, the way forward to maybe have yeah, I still got a little bit from that one as well eh? so I think that kind of opens this area up a little bit um, and it means I've got a better turning area for for there and then I think yeah well Maybe get rid of this one here as well. Just by the by the dairy. It's kind of in the way a little bit. Okay. So all these wood chips will get sold uh, probably to Erlengrat. Because it's usually the best price, but it's not the best price just now. Price will go up over the winter, so. Alright, I'm going to take this over to the sawmill area now. And then we'll grab our... Grab our lorry and bring that over as well. And then we're going to thin this area out as well. So I'm going to take out the trees that are in the middle here, I think. So quickly grab this <coughs> lorry. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll head back across. So it's basically the theme. So what we're going to do, obviously, right at the end of the episode here, we'll buy our plot of uh, forest. And, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of rinse and repeat. The bigger, longer trees I will cut um, for timber, and the smaller trees we will cut, uh, or the strangly, straggly trees like the the birch and the oak, we will then use for uh, wood chips. But it's a, yeah, it's a little bit of a cheat code these uh, these oak trees because obviously you've got all this. Uh, all these oak trees grow really, really quickly, so that's quite an interesting prospect. Yeah, that's pretty much full. So, let's get that cut down. Quite hard to see actually. There we go. And yeah, I'm going to cut down that one. A 
put that in there. And I think, yeah, we'll cut this one down as well. So 44,000 litres there. So that's obviously full, so leave that there a second and we'll take this up to the sawmill. Yeah, so look at that, our forest has started to grow. Nice. Looks pretty good. Uh, there's one more oak tree that I might get rid of there as well, that one that's just next to the spruce here. But yeah, that's looking pretty good, quite happy with that. Um, and it's not going to infringe in our canola field too much either, so... But those trees are going to take a little while to grow. Uh, it'll be a long while till they are up to the size they need to be. So I'll get this into here. There we go. Uh, get that in first. And then wood chips white. Oh, in fact, let's just get this empty and then we can see how much we've got in total. Oh, there goes the train. It doesn't give you a, a total here, does it? Alright, so that's in there. It takes a while to empty this, doesn't it? It's okay though. Right, so... 8,000. Let's just let, let it fill up. There we go, right. So... How much have we got? Wood chips. 90,000 litres already. So they're already. It's already doing pretty well. So 1,707. Erlen Grat's already a good price, isn't it? So what we'll maybe do then. We'll call the train. And then. Yeah, forestry wise. So big chunk of the forest is here, down this end. I did originally think of buying this plot here, um, but then it's miles away from us, us really. I guess not. Um, I guess it's not that far, is it? But yeah, my thinking is with this, these plots up here, they're close to the train, so I can just chip them, get them into there, and then they can go away onto the train to Erlengrat. But they are more pricey, these, these slots, so... I think I'm just going to go for this one. Plot 107. It's 145,000 or 146,000 almost. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of wood in here, so let's get it. And then this can be our sustainable forest for for now on. So yeah, there's plenty of trees in here. Uh, plenty of wood chipping ones, but there's definitely a few uh, ones for logs as well. So yeah, it's going to give us yeah, a pretty decent area. So it goes right up to the track that side. Uh, and then, yeah, in line with the track coming up here. So, yeah, quite a big spot. Quite a big spot. So, wait for this train. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the wood chips loaded up. And we'll go and sell them. And uh, we'll finish the episode doing that, I think. Okay, here we go. So, we'll get this uh, wood chips in. Wherever they are, there they are. So we'll get them in there, and yeah, we'll get this, uh, this all sold, shall we? So, yeah, I was just having a look at the the plot, uh, the forestry plot here. It's pretty big, actually. 
um, it's quite an undertaking so I don't think we'll get through it all this winter but that's okay means we've got more stuff for the future so let's get these uh, wood chips sold so 90,000 litres is uh, it's close to 100, 180 grand we're going to make off this which ain't bad is it Hopefully, yeah, we can just keep chipping away, as they say. God, that was bad. That was such a dad joke. But yeah, we've gone into this with no loan as well, which is amazing. I think things are definitely on the up. Yeah, we've got 66 in the bank, but that is just about to change. So, yes, please. Yeah, what's that? 100, yeah, 160,000. I was slightly out, wasn't I? But that's all right. 230 in the bank. Um, that'll keep us going for now, won't it? So I'm going to wood chip those last little couple of trees down at the sawmill, and then yeah, next episode we'll maybe we'll do a little bit of slurry spreading on the fields since we can, if there's no snow on the ground, that is, and then yeah, we'll. I've decided I'm not going to cut that grass. Um, we're going to make plenty of money out of the wood forestry, wood chips and stuff like that um, just now. So there's no point really uh, cutting that grass to make more silage. We just wait for it to be fully grown in the spring and then uh, yeah, you can get a proper cut off it. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously I've got plenty of preserved veg to sell and we might sell a little bit of that next episode. And yeah, We'll just, uh, we'll maybe do a teeny bit of forestry uh, and then, yeah, um, sort of get everything finished off, I guess. But, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, if you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share or comment, you are more than welcome to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Do look out for Expeditions, a mud runner game. Um, it'll be out very, very soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all very, very soon on the next episode. All the best.